Hey guys, so today we're going to be making brown sugar, honey, and lemon glazed salmon. We're going to be pan searing the salmon. You could also bake it if you like. And then we'll add the sauce to glaze the salmon. We're also going to be pairing this with some creamy mashed potatoes. So let's get started with the recipe. Okay guys, so I'm starting by putting my potatoes to cook first. All right, so I got my pot with some water in it and then I'm using red potatoes. So you wanna cut your potatoes in quarters and add it into the water and add a little bit of salt, then put it on the stove, let it come to a boil. And then you're gonna let the potatoes cook until they're fork tender, until you can use a fork and pierce them okay so it should take about 15 minutes since we cut them small they're not gonna take too long to cook and once the potatoes are cooked you're gonna remove the water and set the potatoes aside all right so while my potatoes was boiling I started working on cooking my salmon so you want to take your salmon and then wash them after you wash it you're gonna pat dry both sides of the salmon using paper towel okay so next i'm going to start seasoning my salmon so i'm seasoning the side with the skin first and then i'm going to flip it and season the other side so to season my salmon today i'm using seafood blend seasoning by the kitchen crave and i'm also going to be using their all-purpose seasoning blend the all-purpose seasoning blend is my absolute favorite seasoning to use right now. You can use it on anything and it adds so much flavor with just that one seasoning. So for this recipe, I didn't even add any salt, all right? But if you don't have any all-purpose seasoning to use, you can just use onion powder, garlic powder, some salt, and black pepper to replace the all-purpose seasoning blend, all right? So add the seasoning on both sides and make sure you rub the seasonings on the fish really well all right so just give it a little pat and flip it do the other side and then we're going to start cooking our salmon so if you like to cut your salmon in smaller pieces you can just use like a butcher knife and slice it like i'm doing but you should do this part before you season it all right but I forgot to show it to you guys, so I'm showing you now. And yeah, after you slice your salmon fillet, you season it up. And then next, you guys, we're going to start cooking it. So I'm getting my frying pan and I'm placing it over medium heat. Then I'm going to add a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan just to coat it. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're going to take your pieces of salmon and just place it in the pan with the presentation side of the salmon going down first. So you want the top part of the salmon to go into the pan first and then we're going to flip it, okay? So after you place the salmon in the pan, you're going to let it cook for about 4 to 5 minutes. One way I know if my salmon is ready to be flipped is if it's still kind of stuck to the bottom of the pan, that means it's not ready to be flipped, it's still cooking, okay? So yeah. Flip it to the other side and let it cook for four to five more minutes. And once your salmon is perfectly cooked and done, you can start making the sauce. So to make the sauce today, I'm doing it the easy way. So I minced a few cloves of garlic and I'm just gonna add that. I removed some of the oil I had in the pan. You don't really want the oil in the pan, so I just threw it out, but I kept the salmon in the pan and added the garlic in there. If you want, you can remove the salmon from the pan, make the sauce, then just add back the salmon, cook it for three minutes, and you can do it that way. But the way I'm doing it today, I just added the garlic into the pan, give it a mix with the salmon lightly, and then I added in some honey, some soy sauce, some brown sugar, and you just mix those ingredients together until it's well combined. And then I added some honey, some soy sauce, some brown sugar, and the juice of one lemon. And you want to mix those ingredients together until it's well combined. All right. And then you let your salmon cook with that sauce for about two to three minutes until it thickens to 
your liking okay so yeah and that's basically it you guys also I added uh, just a dash of salt to kind of bring out the flavors in the sauce but you could taste your sauce and adjust it as it's needed all right and you want to keep basting the salmon with the sauce in the pan so I just use my spoon and I scoop the sauce and place it on top of the salmon to add a nice glaze on top of it and yeah once it's glazed and the sauce thickens that is it for this recipe you guys it's pretty easy to make not hard at all and it's full of flavor so lastly i chopped up some fresh cilantro and sprinkled it on top of the salmon and that's it you can set it aside and we're going to finish making our mashed potatoes and our asparagus that i paired my meal with today and then we can eat okay you guys so i'm taking my potatoes and i'm gonna mash it just a little bit then i'm gonna add in some all-purpose seasoning i'm using the same all-purpose seasoning i use on the salmon then i'm gonna add in some butter and some salt and a little bit of black pepper and yeah after that you guys i'm gonna add in some milk and then you want to use your potato masher to mash the potatoes up you can also use a spoon to mix everything together until it's kind of well combined a little and then use the potato masher to mash up the potatoes all right and after you mash it up a little bit what I like to do is use my cake mixer if you have a whip attachment you can use the whip attachment or just use the cake mixer and whip the potatoes until it's nice and creamy all right so using the cake mixer makes the potatoes a little bit more creamy and it's absolutely delicious it's my favorite way to make mashed potatoes and once your potatoes is nice and creamy just taste it make sure you don't need to adjust any of the seasonings all right so make sure it has enough salt and enough flavor and after you do that you can set it aside because we're finished with our mashed potatoes so lastly I'm gonna make some sauteed asparagus pretty simple and then that'll be it all right you guys so now I'm taking my asparagus and I'm gonna cut out about one to two inches from the bottom of the asparagus and then wash your asparagus all right next i'm getting my frying pan and i added just a little bit of oil to coat the bottom of the frying pan once the oil was hot i'm gonna throw in my asparagus into the pan and then i'm gonna season it up using the all-purpose seasoning you can use salt and black pepper if you want to add a little bit of onion and garlic powder in there you can use your pot spoon to mix the seasonings into the asparagus and then i like to cover my pot so that my asparagus can soften the way I like it about three minutes or so okay so and once the asparagus is cooked the way you like your asparagus to be done that is it you guys that's it for the asparagus I removed them from the pan so that's it for today's meal you guys the salmon and mashed potatoes with the asparagus everything paired really well together and it was absolutely delicious so I like to serve my mashed potatoes sometimes with just a little bit of butter on top all right you can put it in the microwave to help it melt a little bit if you'd like and that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope you give the recipe a try if you do let me know in the comments down below how it turned out don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.